What's up YouTube, I'm Mr. No Name, or Max as people know me in the real world, and to date I'm bringing you a brand new gameplay, um, it's Blitz on Freight, and so far this is my favorite map, but um, I'm not sure if you are going to be seeing this gameplay first on my channel, or my live com of my first game, I uh, haven't decided yet, not sure what's going to work the best, but you know, either way, I need to go ahead and explain in this one, because I didn't in my live com, why I haven't uploaded recently, um, there's, there's several reasons. Number one, school has been overwhelming right now. There's been so much work, especially because I've been sick for like four days now in the past week, and I've got a ton of makeup work. It's It's been really tough trying to do that and play with the team, grinding, and get YouTube videos out. It's just been impossible. And on top of all that, my free trial expired on the uh, editing software I was using, so I had no way of uploading this with any kind of commentary, which I didn't want to just upload raw gameplay so I, I apologize for that but anyway this video is gonna be my first impressions of the game um, I'm making this on Thursday so a couple days after the game came out so I've, I've played a little bit and I've got my kind of feel for it so first and a lot of it is negative but I will try and end on a positive note um so the first few things number one you die way too fast in this game it's ridiculous you should not be dying in one to two bullets from a sub halfway across the map or even all the way across the map because these maps are huge and there's no way it should have that kind of range and that leads into the second thing the maps are way too big um it's gonna be awful for competitive I feel because it's gonna be slow because it's gonna be 4v4 on these giant maps and it's already slow enough with 6v6 like I'm dreading playing 4v4 on it and it's just it's just not gonna work I don't think I, I don't know I mean it's possible but we'll we'll have to see um the maps are also a little bit too campy I feel um they designed them for pubs you can tell uh, th these maps necessarily aren't the most balanced some of them are balanced but the problem is that they have too many camping spots um one one example of a map that is just absolutely awful I don't remember the name because I don't know the names yet but it's the one with the castle and the nice green fields and hills and everything um, that one if you haven't played it yet is dominated by snipers uh, everybody has a sniper it's ridiculous but um a couple maps that I do like so far are prison break and freight uh, freight is probably gonna be my best one at least that's what I'm getting right now because all my gameplays are on freight and I need to try and vary it up a little so I'll try and get better at some other ones uh, prison break I've had a few decent ones but not good enough to upload um, if you don't know there's definitely a power position on that map on top of one of the hills I don't know call outs for it yet um, but if you've seen Nade Shot's video, the hill he stays on for most of the time during that gameplay, that's where I was. <laughs> um, it's the best spot ever because um, you can see pretty much everything. So uh, the worst map right now for me is Flooded. If you haven't played that yet, it is a fairly large map with buildings on either side, multiple stories, and then like a waterway down the middle. And um, you can drown in the water. <laughs> and the water goes in the buildings on either side as well. And um, I've drowned so many times. I've probably died like 10 times from drowning, which is stupid on my part. But a couple times, it's not really my fault because if you drop shot in the water, you'll take damage. And if you're drop shotting to kill somebody, you're probably going to be weak. And since you die in like two bullets, I'm going to be like almost dead if I survive. So you can drown instantaneously. I've literally had a game where I drowned as soon as I touched the water because I drop shotted and I was a little bit weak. From somebody shooting so drop shotting on that map is not smart just saying um next thing is the guns are not very balanced I don't feel um first day you know they already decided okay we're gonna ban this this and this and there's gonna be more to it probably they've banned as far as I know all marksman rifles and the MSBS from competitive um, so if you want to stomp and pubs I would use those guns because they're amazing but for competitive don't even try and use those really because they're they're banned um, next thing is I'm a little bit worried because they took out like all of our competitive game modes um, no CTF no hardpoint and hardpoint was huge last year that really kinda saved competitive um, I'm a little bit worried and then I thought S&D was gonna be in this game but it, right now it's only in private matches um, I'm hoping they're gonna put it in you know when Xbox One comes out and they have you know more capacity or whatever I don't know all the technical things to it but uh, S&D better become part of the integrated game because I don't want to have to go to a public match to practice that because by the way search and rescue right now is my worst game mode I've literally gone like one in four I, I don't know why I guess I'm just retarded right now on these maps but 
that's that. Uh, next thing is the clan versus clan playlist. So I played several games on it, and it felt really, really awesome to play competitive. Like it made me feel so good inside. I don't know if that sounds weird, but I mean, it, it really did. Uh, the only problem was that you know, not really competitive rule sets. Nothing's banned yet. No respawn delay, but. I trust that they're going to implement that hopefully within the next month or so. Um, I don't know, it is Infinity Ward, and um, they never really support competitive that much, but they're saying they will this year, so hopefully they'll work on that and get all the rule sets implemented. Um, then some, some good things are the campaign is absolutely amazing. I will definitely be uploading that. I didn't think I was originally, but I want to upload a walkthrough of that now because it was, it was really awesome. Uh, extinction mode is also really awesome. I plan on bringing some game modes of that or gameplays. My bad. Um, that's what the alien one, and it, it's it's pretty cool. I don't plan on doing too many though, because I feel like it'd get old pretty fast. Um, survival. I will probably upload some of those. Um, you know, I might do like the first attempt on each of the maps, and then you know, if, if the leaderboards, if I can get a gameplay of one in the top like hundred or maybe top thousand people or so I don't know yet then I will uh, I'll upload that and that'll be later on but um overall I'm a little bit worried about competitive um, for this game it, it doesn't seem quite right but it, it might work out I don't know uh, soon of course I will be uploading the campaign extinction survival uh, walkthroughs and everything and I also fairly soon I will be doing some class setups for public matches and competitive I want to make sure I get some of both in there um, and I will also be doing some map call out videos but I don't want to do that too soon because I want to make sure I actually know what I'm talking about um we we went through freight yesterday with my team and um, my teammates and I went through it and we figured out what we want to call everything but you know it might adjust some so That'll be a little bit later, but they, it will be pretty soon. So, as you guys can see, we're coming to the end of this video. If you enjoyed it, then please like, comment, and or subscribe. If you didn't, then let me know what I can do better in the comment section below. Constructive criticism goes a long way, guys. Until next time, everyone, peace out.